Tell some funny jokes, white boy. Tell some funny jokes, Bill. Tell some funny jokes, white boy. Tell some funny jokes, Bill. Are you having a good day? Because I'm having a good day. Are you having a good day? Because I'm having a good day. Are you having a good day? Because I'm having a good day. If you're having a good day, then let's have a good, 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 good laugh. Woo! Subscribe squad, it's another day, it's another dollar, it's time for another freaking reaction because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you, you look at me and I look at you, you look at me and I look at you, that is what we do. Whoop, 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 whoop. But before we go ahead and react to some more Bill Burr, aka Tell Some Funny Jokes, why, boy. Uh, tell Some Funny Jokes, Bill. Hey, what? That's all about it. I'm sorry. It's just, it's so catchy. It really is so catchy. I need you to go ahead and do That's me a shit. favor because, because, here's why. I need you to do me a favor because we are almost there. We are almost to our goal. All right, we're almost at 10K subs. So I need you to hit that like button. I need you to hit that sub button. I need you to hit that bell button because you can ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know literally every single time, like every single time I drop it, like every single time I drop a new video, you'll boop right on it. See how that was alerting? It's going to be alerting like that on your phone. You feel me? You feel me. Right? Because once we get to 10K subs, we're going to drop this remix, which is about to be epic. I'm here to tell you, it, it literally will be epic. And I'm going to hit you with the bars, the bars, the bars. But it's not time for me to hit you with the bars. It's time for me to hit you with some bill. And today we are reacting to Bill Burr losing your SHIT, marriage, etc., etc. Okay? And it's about 8 minutes, 29 seconds long. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it and let's get our laugh on. My abs are ready. My abs are ready. Let us go. Whoo! So I've been trying to learn uh, learn how to fix shit around the house. That's what's filling up all this time of just being sober. <laughs> That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. <laughs> Congrats for him at this time for being sober, though. Go ahead, Bill. Time of just being sober. That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. That's <laughs> oh, fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. <laughs> you know? I can imagine him being mad. <laughs> fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. You know? She's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things. It's that you get frustrated, mm -hmm. you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, you're a comedian. You should tell jokes. He's a plumber. He should plumb, right? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something. <laughs> right? Everybody does that. You buy right? Yeah. I guess that's a man's mind. Do you know what I'm saying? That is definitely a man's mind. Okay. All right. Cool. Fixing something. Right? Everybody does that. You buy right? Yeah. You buy something at Ikea. You get halfway through putting it together. You're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. But, honey, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it. Why? You want to put it together? You want... Well, then you put it together. You put it together. It's fucking part of the book. It's a fucking shit. It's instructions make no sense. <laughs> Ikea is the devil, bro. Like, I swear. They be having so many parts at Ikea. I was like, first of all, it takes more energy for you guys to have all these parts than for you to just put it together. Like, just put it together. <laughs> you want, well, then you put it together. You put it together, it's fucking part of a board piece of fucking shit. These instructions make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Oh, go to your mother's. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? Mm -hmm. Not the part about how I pay all the fucking bills, right? <laughs> how was that uncalled for? How was that uncalled for? I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. <laughs> I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. Mm -hmm. I am working on it. 
I am working on it. Right? <laughs> As girls, we'd be like, you need to work on that, bro. I don't know how to, you need to work on it. And it's so true, though. As we we have this thing where we tell the negative stories about the person. But we really, like, because we be upset, though. You understand? When we be so bad, we forget about all the good stuff. Like, And the only thing that matters when we bad is that messed up stuff. So then our friends and family, they hear the messed up stuff, but we forget to tell them all the good stuff in between. That is so true, that part. You don't need to tell me. I know what I said. Yes. I am working on it. I am working on it. All right? Look. Look, you think I want to be this guy? You think I want to be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am. This is who I became, all right? I'm working through this shit. You don't have to speak. Well, you do shit, too, okay? You do shit, too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's! <laughs> That's brutal. I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. At least he owns up to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we. That's brutal. I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I'm sick of women trying to. F Every girl I ever date's always trying to fix me. Hmm? It's it annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. <laughs> right? What is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. <laughs> he ain't at Applebee's, bro, though. <laughs> oh, we... all right, what is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. Okay? I've had it. I'm working. I'm trying. You go down, and you get this Mr. Even Keeled all the time <laughs> with his little fucking sport coat, right? <laughs> you, you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home. How are you? Well, traffic was crazy, almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, always a classic, always a classic. That's the guy you want, straight across the board, even in the bedroom, right? Always making love to you, missionary style, I love you, your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> An ocean, bro? Like, what? Random. Oh, my God. Even in the bedroom, right? Always making love to you, missionary style. Mm. I love you. Your hair is like an ocean. Mm. Never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows. You fucking psycho, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's right. She's always right. <laughs> I do. I got to work on it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped. You know, my dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> five minutes in, bro? Like, I'm so weak. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> it was hilarious. He'd see some broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy. Give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. 13 goddamn years of this shit. Oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the plugs. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> I love it when they be saying They be like, people would have left. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. So this shit. Oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. <laughs> Give me the plugs. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. <laughs> then I got older, you know, started dating. I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know? Where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know? <laughs> we ain't here no more, big dog. <laughs> As out. <laughs> you know? Where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know? When did they stop making those angels? <laughs> who just knew it had nothing to do with them. They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? 
What a luxury. Right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? <laughs> He's stupid, bro. He's dumb. Oh my gosh. Dudes really be doing that, though. It, it be mad and it got nothing to do with you, bro. Do not put all that energy over here. I'll be like, oh, you need to go someplace and eat. You need to go to sleep. Because you bad. And I'm the, see, I'm, I'm bad. I'm the person that I will tell you about why you're really bad. Like, most people would just ignore it. I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to tell you, I'll be like, you're bad because you're insecure about X, Y, and Z. And, and piss you off even more. <laughs> Hashtag petty. <laughs> Your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? You know they're making decisions. Take these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. <laughs> then the bra burning generation came in, right? Yeah. They can sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. <laughs> So I was supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. <laughs> I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to hold it up. You know, you can't. Even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. And then oh you just God. start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Turn at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. It starts fading off. You start thinking about your own life, right? Why did I take Nebraska given 28? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, our voice goes, it goes up. Right? Oh my God, fuck. That was a question. <laughs> I know they'd be like that. they be zoned out and then the questions are, oh, dang it, I wasn't paying attention. I failed the test today. <laughs> and then I'd be so bad. Do not sit there and tell me you're paying attention and then I ask you a question, bro, and then you can't respond to the question. Tell me that you're not paying attention. Yes, I'm be mad that you're not paying attention, but I'm going to get over that. I'm going to be less pissed off than when I ask you a question and then you lie to me because you said you were paying attention. I know there's women right here who could totally relate to this, and men are probably sitting here like, huh? <laughs> And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. <laughs> All right, now what do you do? You can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What do, you do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other, and uh, you know, no. halftime adjustments, uh, <laughs> <and nothing. laughs> I don't want to make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man. But, you know, I understand him, though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? <laughs> you got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love, and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> it's brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Wow. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, pre-Chicken Soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. The pressure of that, feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap. <laughs> that part, like, like, do we expect you to be sane when you do that? No. The pressure of that, <laughs> feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap. Just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass this all down? You fucking bitch out the fucking beginning of my bullshit! Boom, we slam the door, have the car in third gear by the time we got it to the end of the driveway. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> my mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Now he's just crazy. 
He's just a crazy person. What is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he show up, no apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up. He'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll be a good dad, though. Yeah. You know? I do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is Bill Burr a dad now? This is what I want to know. I definitely want to know the answer to that. That was absolutely hilarious. Whew. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. More Bill Burr. Let me know in the comments below. Other comedians, let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor. Watch another video on the channel. Por favor. Just one more video. Also, um, what was I going to say? Dang it. Lost my train of thought happen sometimes we're doing a lot of videos also if you haven't already hit that sub button we're almost at 10k subs and i gotta go i gotta, I gotta go